Hi everyone, I'm Zoe and I'll be your session leader for today. Why don't you start off with your name, where you're from, and show us your cover. Let's start with you, shall we? Hi, I'm Charlie from Morgan Matson Save the Date, and this is my cover. Hey, I'm Ara from Rena Baron's Kingdom of Souls, and this is my cover. Mia, J. Kristoff's Nevernight. I already know I have the best cover here. Stay mad. Me? Yes. Okay. Um, I'm a parking fairy from Justine Lara Balestier's How to Ditch Your Fairy, and this is my cover. Who are you? Um, hi. I'm Alex from Chris Colfer's The Land of Stories. It's me and my brother on the cover. So nice to meet you. Let's get into why we're all here today. All of you, in some way, have something to say about your respective covers and what you had to do during them and your experience creating these book covers. Does anyone want to go first and share their experience? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I'll go first. So I had to sit on this sick looking throne, right? I was looking all kinds of amazing. This cover was going to be beautiful. I knew it. And then out of nowhere, they bring a snake? Man, I hate snakes. Ooh, I hate snakes too. I would have been so scared. Me too. I don't know what you thought that look on my face was, but it was sheer get me the hell out Wait, of here. This is about bad experiences. I thought this was for bragging rights. I love my cover. Do you see how badass I look? I'm, that's it, I'm, I'm, I'm out. If you'll just take your seat, sit. Maybe you can offer some insight to the other participants. Okay. Parking fairy, how about you go next? Oh, um, yeah, sure. So they told me to lie on my back like this. You see that and like that. And then um, they were gonna hold the big hammer over me and they said it would be funny, and I was like, sure, what do I know about book covers? I'm just a parking fairy. And then they they dropped the hammer on me. Yeah, I know, it was traumatizing. I know. Ouch, that must have hurt. Well, like, it was, it was only a styrofoam hammer, so it wasn't that bad, but it was humiliating. It really was. Oh, wow. A styrofoam hammer. Can't imagine what that's like. You don't need to be rude just because you don't want to be here. Who are you again? Okay, that's enough. Let's keep it civil here. Would you like to tell us about your experience? Well, I thought I was gonna get a super cute cover. I mean, all the other Morgan Matson girls did, right? After the dogs in the last one, I knew I'd be set. Like, I have a dog on the back cover and there's a dog on the front cover, so I was like, great. It was set up for an outdoor wedding. Like, I knew I had it made. Then they went and said, here, catch this cake. And I'm like, are you kidding me? I, for one, would have much rather eaten the cake than worn it. It gets worse. It gets worse, trust me. Like the parking fairy, mine wasn't real. No, I thought I would be wearing a cake when they said, catch it. That wasn't the case. Real cake would have been bad enough, but at least I could have eaten it. And who doesn't want to eat cake that's been splattered all over them? Cake, <laughs> yum, I wish I had some cake too. It was weirdly stiff. It broke my nose. This nose. I broke it. I've had my nose broken so many times. Did you deserve it? How did something like that break your nose? <laughs> I don't know. Are you just that delicate? I think it was the angle it hit me on. All I know is I was tripping and there was a cake coming at me and then I heard a crack. Oh. And I refused to be on a book cover ever again. Did they give you real cake at all? I don't think I want cake anymore right now. Tell us about your experience. Well, they wanted it to look like we were falling. So they said, get on a giant trampoline and jump for a little bit. And I thought, hey, that'd be, that'd be really cool. I love trampolines. But they couldn't get the shots. So then they set us up in those like wind tunnel things. I don't, I don't know what they're called. Um, and we had to be in there like we were skydiving, like one of those things for so long and it, it was really loud and I was really uncomfortable. Oh honey, I would rather have been reading the whole time but we had to be in there for a long time. They took so many pictures and we we're like, okay, this is gonna be great. And then they decided to draw us and my brother was like, have you never heard of using your imagination? And 
quite frankly, I have to agree. Sorry, late guys, it took forever to get here in this thing. <laughs> no. <laughs> Do you want to... S Were we not supposed to cosplay? Really? No. We were not. You can take that off if you want. Well, it took long enough getting this thing on. I'm not taking it off now. Why don't you tell us a little bit about your experience? Well, the first one, this one, wasn't so bad. Just a little humid and giant snow globe. I don't know why they didn't just Photoshop it in. Really, they could have Photoshopped it in. Something about getting an authentic feel for it, I, I don't know. But the other ones, do you think they Photoshopped the other glass in? No. No, they did not. I had cut. I had to break the glass myself. I was wounded. That's it. I'm out. What did I think? So that was the most nerve-wracking thing I've ever filmed, both being in a giant hamster ball and my first skit video. This video has kindly been sponsored by Penguin Teen in honor of the Matched Deluxe Edition, which is out in stores now. If we're being quite honest, I am just realizing now, after getting out of the giant hamster ball, that I forgot to mention that I was cosplaying as Cassia, the main character from the Matched series by Ali Condi. I went through all of that just to forget half my damn lines. Anyways, it was my first skit video. Please be gentle. Do you hear that? It's the remnants of the giant hamster ball that I'm standing on. Wow, that was a trip. Anyways, let me know down below in the comments if you enjoy this type of skit video. If you were here just for the skit, you can skip this whole regular end of video spiel. Let me know what other sort of bookish therapy sessions you would like to see, or if that's just too much or you don't have a lot of time, drop some hearts down below, preferably purple ones, because that's my favorite color. As always, to stay updated with my current reads and how I'm feeling about them, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Goodreads, all at Zoe's All Booked, which I will leave linked down below in the description box. Down there as well are links to my Patreon, where you can become a patron for the channel, and if you're interested in seeing bloopers for this video, I will be posting it on my Patreon, my coffee where you can leave me a tip, the Discord server, and book depository where if you click that link and buy books, I get a small 5% commission at no extra cost to you. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and I hope you all have a wonderful day and get at least a little bit of uninterrupted reading time. I love you awesome nerds, and I will see you in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>